Hey, have you ever wondered how they put subtitles on movies or YouTube videos or the one that you're seeing right now with this intro? If you did, so do I. And I found very easy way how you can do the same thing with Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting more time, let's go to my laptop and see how it happens. Hey, my name is Peter Lekov and inside Premiere Pro, I have already loaded this video that I'll be using for this example. First thing we have to do is go to captions and graphics and click on it. But if you can't see it on your workspace, you can go and click on these little arrows and from there select captions. I'm going to click on captions and graphics and once we click on them, it's going to take us to this uh, workspace. From here on the left hand side, you're going to see those three options that it says transcribe sequence, create new caption track or import caption from file. This means that you can import subtitles that have been already created, but in our case, we don't have them. And what we're going to do next, go to transcribe sequence and click on it. From there, you're going to see this window popping out and you can see that it says the sequence name, which is intro example in my case. And also it says the length of the sequence, which is 21 seconds. Going down, you can see the transcription settings. From here, you can choose which track you would like to transcribe. In my case, it's mixed, but if you want to transcribe only one audio channel in your video, you can select it. After that, you can choose what kind of language you would like to have the transcription. And in my case, it will be English UK. But as you can see, it has all the main languages. Going down, you can see that there is transcription data, which is like a disclaimer. And it says that when you use this feature, your audio files will be processed and transcribed automatically in the cloud. This process cannot be canceled once sent for transcription. So after that, we're going to click on transcribe. And now it's been rendering, which is gathering the audio data. Sometimes it might take too long, but sometimes it might take a few seconds. That totally depends on the length of your video. And in my case, it's only 21 seconds. So I guess it's going to take only a few moments to render the transcription. And there we go, the transcription being rendered. Now, when the transcription is done, you can see that you've got the text over there. And the next thing you have to do is go and click on create captions. From here, another window going to pop out. And from here, you can choose the preferred settings that you want to use for the subtitles. In my case, I'll leave it as it is. And I recommend you to do it as it is. It's subtitle default. Also, the format is subtitles. And you can't change the style now, but later on, once you've created these subtitles, you can change it. After that, you can see at the bottom, it says lines and you can choose between double or single. And in my case, I will choose single. This is better if you're going to use those subtitles in social medias like uh, Facebook or Instagram. Anyway, I'm going to click on create. And now I have created subtitles for my intro. So let's check how it looks like. Sometimes there will be words spelled wrong, but you shouldn't worry about it because you can very easily change this. And as you can see, I said, if you did, so do I. And this being translated as Dwight. So I don't know who is that Dwight. But as I said, you can change this very easily by going on the left hand side and click twice on the paragraph. And from there, I can change it to I. And there we go. It's done. So let's see. There you go. So that's how you can change any misspellings. And also you can customize your text to do this. If you want to customize only one paragraph of the text, you can click on it like this and you can go to the right hand side where is the essential graphic panel and click on edit. From here, you can customize the text and choose different style. I'm going to choose open sense. Also, you can change the position of the text by going on to align and transform. And you can see this little cell icon where you can click in the middle and this automatically going to move the text at the middle. Also, you can click 
at the bottom and you're gonna have the subtitles at uh, the top of the video but let's say that you want the subtitles to be somewhere between the bottom and the middle and you can adjust this very easily by going over there on the right hand side and drag this to the left over there something like that and if you put it somewhere between minus 90 and minus 92 you're gonna have it somewhere between bottom and middle also you can change the fill of the text by clicking on the fill color and from here you can change it to whatever color you want i'm just going to choose red and also you can change the size of it there you go it's so easy to do it but if you want to customize the whole text you just have to select all of them and do exactly the same i'm just going to move the cursor a little bit further down and show you so let's change the fill it's going to be red and as you can see it changed straight away and of course uh, we can change the style to let's say reward gothic and then you can change the size there we go and like that we've got the whole text changed so let's see done so that's how you can create subtitles with Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did so, please hit that like button because this is gonna help YouTube algorithm. And also don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time.